guys welcome back to royal gaming channel and today we are going to be playing one of my favorite decks and the decks that i use more frequently which is minor poison cycle so this minor poison cycle here is a fast cycle of 3.0 in which we can get counters easily at hand and we can out cycle opponents counter so we are going to be reviewing games that we have played two or three minutes ago So first let us watch how to win against splash yard with minor poison cycle. So the first thing you must do is this is a control deck. So what do you mean by control deck is that you have to analyze what your what deck your opponent has. So I went for knight in the back. If I knew he had graveyard I wouldn't have gone that but it is not a risky choice going minor first play. I mean second play. So as soon as we see knight and baby dragon, I thought it must be graveyard because um, probably always baby dragon comes with graveyard royal jane, but knight does not come in royal jane, so it must be graveyard. So as soon as I thought it was graveyard, I thought of setting up an inferno tower. And this guy is a savage. He went in for the inferno tower straight away. If he could uh, wouldn't have done this move, he would have won the match. And this one skeleton, it's killing me, you know. And Eve is a knight setup. So I went in for the minor. So the goal for this, uh, the goal for winning this one is to go consecutive minors and outcycle our opponent. So I went in for Inferno Tower. And I, uh, you must always keep up the pressure by cycling wall breakers. For splash yard, it doesn't matter when you're low on elixir because you can always find a way to win. Never leak elixir in cycle decks. So he went in for the baby dragon, trying to go for the graveyard. We're going in for a big push right here. Now the Eve is like, now we have to uh, always, when you're playing against graveyard, you must try to block off the troops when it is uh, when it is above the bridge, because when it comes near, the tower will be targeting the troops and not the graveyard skeletons and will become a deadly push. So blocked it with inferno tower, but missed it because the knight got targeted. So he didn't uh, go graveyard instantly. I missed it again, but due to King Tower activation in graveyard, this is gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy. As you can see, I took almost no damage. He's going in for the consecutive place. So I did a predictive poison, but he dropped his ice wizard after it. So he has fireball two in his graveyard deck. So this is gonna so. The method here is to block it like this and play Eve is for the graveyard in double elixir. Graveyard is such an easy matchup for minor poison because you have the poison always to hard counter the graveyard or to use it in offense. Most of the cards in a splash yard are, are going to be poison bait so always watch out for your poison value. So as you can see I blocked that baby dragon coming so the tower targets this the spell race started I'm the damage lead he went in for a good ice wizard I went in for poison value quick pressure with the wall breakers we both are an equal elixir almost yeah I'm two elixir lead so this is the method of blocking again he decides to clump up even my Inferno Tower the, because the spell race has begun. So this baby dragon did a lot for him. I, I started the spell cycle too. This I think I, I recognize that it is gonna be a very very close match. So if you do a single mistake you're just gone. Unnecessary evils but I tried playing safe over there. He started the graveyard, but I need not worry when King Tower is activated. So I, follow, I think I followed up with minor because you always have to cycle minus. And even though I'm not in the lead, 
I thought the wall breaker connection, but it was not. So I blocked it by Eve's mistakely, but due to the poison, I had to use my knight on top of it. So it was going very close. A backer barrel hit or a knight hit is gonna do it, but I won the match. So this is a very very close match. So I think you have understood how to play against um, Slash Yard. So if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to Royal Gaming. And that's it guys, it's the end of today's video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. A huge shout out to our new subscriber who is Caliptra.